So welcome back everyone, Mike and Melissa here today. Uh, it's pretty cold today and it's getting colder. Uh, what's it supposed to be tomorrow morning? Like negative eight. Negative eight tomorrow. They actually already canceled school for tomorrow, which uh, I don't remember them doing that when we were kids. I mean, they did when we had a bunch of snow. Snow, not the cold. Yeah, but yeah, the kids' school, colleges, everything's closing tomorrow, but anyway. Yeah, Dennis and Menace walked to school one day and lost a finger from frostbite, so they start canceling school. <laughs> Is that what happened? I think so. I think that's it. Anyway, we have some pretty big news uh, to share. We hit 50,000 subscribers. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. As of right now, we didn't, uh, but I'm remaining optimistic, and I want to have a video ready for when we did, which uh, should be tomorrow sometime. But yeah, 50,000 subscribers, that's a pretty big deal for us. Uh, we started this channel about uh, two years ago, and uh, you know, started uploading on a regular basis back then. And uh, we want to thank everybody. There's still people here that you know started with us. Uh, it's like I know them. You know, we they leave comments all the time, and it's just a really good group of people, and we really appreciate it. Uh, but to kind of commemorate uh, that milestone, I did a really good video yesterday, and uh, but I butchered it. <laughs> Let me explain. Uh, we went to uh, I went to the uh, Wood Miser dealer in Shade Gap, Pennsylvania. And I'm gonna show you the first part of that video right now. So I talked to Marty Parsons at the uh, Woodmiser dealer in Shade Gap. Everything was going just fine. Uh, and Marty is very, very knowledgeable on all things Woodmiser sawmills. And we demoed an LT15 and we went over everything about that sawmill. 
and like I said, he knew everything. He was very good information. And I actually told him when we were shooting the video, I said, you know what, this is so helpful to me because I'm not gonna remember half of what you tell me, and I got it all on video. Problem was, I, I did get it all on video, uh, but I had a little audio problem. You wanna grab that camera right there? So normally what I use, well I use several cameras, but this is a Canon 80D. It's got a Rode mic on it. And it's a recycled squirrel. Yeah, it looks like a dead squirrel, but they call it a dead cat actually. But I had the microphone plugged in, camera or the microphone was on, everything was good. I've never had a problem with it. And I got home last night uh, to start kind of putting that video together and I realized I had no sound. And I didn't even get real mad, did I? No, but we all scattered. Listen, well, the dogs. <laughs> when I first started this channel, I think it took me like 14 hours to edit the first video. Yeah. And things I've learned a lot since we started. And uh, back then it was pretty rough. And then you know you don't realize you're taking all that data. You've got several cameras, and your computer gets all bogged down. So then I had to figure out how to use external hard drives. And it's it's just a whole thing. But we have gotten so much better at it. Have everything streamlined now. But uh, what I'm shooting on right now is a Canon M50. I know I'll get video here. I'm gonna see if this, we'll kind of see if this microphone's working here or not. But I really like that M50. It's a good little camera. And I like the Canon 80D as well. I think I had problems with this Rode mic last, I think it was last weekend or whenever it was raining. Remember that day I came in and I got the cameras all wet? That might've been the problem yeah. there. But anyway, so yeah, I kind of butchered that video. Like I said, uh, it's some really good information. It really was. And uh, I'll meet with Marty again now, I will. I haven't completely decided on a sawmill yet. I really do like the Woodmiser LT15. Uh, I've mentioned before, I'm looking for just a manual mill. They've been around a long time and they do build a really good product. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna get yet. And if it is a wood miser, I may even get the uh, the LT15 wide, maybe, so you can do some more, you know, live edge stuff, big wide stuff. But I'm not sure yet. And quite honestly, this time of year right now, I'm not going to be doing any sawing anyway. So I'm looking to get one, and you know, be set up before uh, springtime. Uh, that way, in the spring and summer, when you get home from work and things like that, you have so much more time than this time of year. But it is staying lighter later. It is. Every, every day. It's nice. You know, we're getting into the coldest part of winter right now, but uh, it's uh, it's getting better. Literally, we could be cutting grass in like 10 weeks. Yeah, that's it's, right. So that yeah. kind of makes you feel good thinking about it that way. Uh, you have anything you'd like to add? Yeah, so check out our social media, our Facebook page, Outdoors with the Morgans, and our Instagram, Outdoors with the Morgans. So there's usually a, a picture and a post every day. Yeah, Melissa does a really good job at taking care of that, and she is way better at uh, answering messages than I am. Uh, we get messages on Instagram, on Facebook, and, and in the comments and email, and we do do our best, uh, but like, you know, I work a full-time job, I uh, probably spend 30, 40 hours a week on the YouTube channel and that, you know, is doing projects around here, do, shooting videos, editing videos, all that. So we do do our best, but Melissa is the one that kind of keeps this all uh, running because uh, if it wasn't for her, you'd never hear from me. I just don't have the time to do everything. And uh, she takes care of all that stuff and does a really good job. I think the Facebook page is like around 5,000 or something yeah. followers on it now and Instagram's growing every day. Yeah. And uh, that's more the day-to-day -day stuff. Right. And uh, something else I wanted to mention, moving forward here now, uh, we had a little family meeting the other night and we were talking, you know, about what we want to do with this channel and where we want to go. And, you know, there was talk, Melissa may start her own channel, more like a fitness thing and all the things she does. But I think we're just going to keep everything on this one channel and do it that way so in 2019 you know you're going to see more of the same there will always be firewood videos there will always be tractor videos uh, but we're going to kind of expand and do some different things and you know i don't expect everyone to like every video uh but that's okay do. uh, melissa does she <laughs> expects do. it to but but no we're going to kind of diversify a little bit and you'll see a lot of different things and i'm going to focus more on like projects i have a lot of plans for 2019 you know, we've already done all types of videos on tractor attachments, you know, comparing a box blade to a land plane and 
how to run the loader on your tractor and you know just tons of videos on that kind of stuff and we'll still be using all the equipment but uh, we have a lot of big plans for 2019 so the way I see it you know who knows but I think it's going to be more kind of based around projects and then more like day-to-day -day stuff that what she does yeah. she may do like a workout Wednesday you know have a video yeah. every Wednesday morning uh, yeah myself and uh, our son Levi and his wife Kate and our daughter Hannah and our daughter Eva they all do CrossFit at the gym so it it might be me mixed with them in the video yeah so and, um, it'll be like a video like that every Wednesday but yeah there's just once you know we realize this it's, it's going really well uh, but there's just so much more that we could be sharing and there's more people that we could bring into this little community that we have here so I think yeah. 2019 is going to be pretty good yeah. especially when the weather breaks I mean I got a list a mile long of things that uh, I want to do and I need to do and but and I have a list of all the comments and questions and messages I need to get back I've sent yeah. to a few or more that I'll check with Mike I'm trying to get with him to answer those and get back to you yeah sometimes so don't give up on us there yeah sometimes we'll like go out to dinner and she'll pull out like this big legal pad and be yeah. like okay you need to answer all these questions yeah. I'm like wait what yeah and she has everything written down and we'll kind of go yeah. over it and I keep track and we're gonna look into some more shirts for this year yeah um, there'll be a lot of things our happening. oldest son has autism our second son Levi he uh, he does outdoor photography so we might do maybe a video on that yeah and him shooting some outdoor photography our daughter-in-law Kate is an excellent cook we might do a a cook episode and we're also thinking about uh, with our son uh, Levi that does the photography putting a calendar together for yeah. 2020 and what we would do there he takes really good pictures of what we do here around the property here and what we're thinking of doing is putting a calendar together and what we could do is you know let you decide like on our Facebook page like could pick a month say January's picture He'll put six or seven of them up there, and then you can decide which one you want on the 2020 calendar. Uh, so we're thinking about doing things like that. But there's just tons of different directions we can go yeah. and things that we can do. And we're leaving you know, all options open. And uh, so we kind of have the whole family involved now. Like I said, we had a meeting about it the other night. And so we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. But yet you're going to see a lot more, uh, probably more videos and different types of videos along with what you're used to seeing. Uh, I yeah. think I think that about wraps it up, huh? Yeah, we have a lot of good plans, a lot of good things, and uh, yeah, you know, should be good. Some good goals to reach. Yeah, goals are good. Uh, but once again, thank you to everybody uh, that you know follows this channel and subscribed, and uh, it's really been fun. I never in a million years imagined uh, it would be where it's at, and who knows where it's going. I always joke. I said for years. I would like go out in the woods to basically get away from people you know not that I don't like people but that was always my escape and now I take these cameras out with me and uh, bring everybody along and then you know you get to read all the comments and from people that are into the same things and they have good ideas to share and it's just really cool it's a lot of fun and uh, we really appreciate uh, you know all the interaction and, and all the support absolutely thanks but anyway, uh, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and uh, share them with your friends. Thanks. Is it cold, Melissa? It's cold. We have to let them know about our, send us questions you'd like to hear for our anniversary. Oh yeah, our anniversary's coming up. Yeah. We're thinking no. of doing an anniversary episode. It's gonna be um, like the newlywed show, so we need some questions.